and here we go. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Samrak. I'm Geneva. My name's Zara. Lucky from the LBC. Back again. This guy come here once a month, at least. Once a month. <laughs> once a month. Try to come in and... It's my second home. Hang out here, yeah? <laughs> uh, so we are starting a new stand-up special. Uh, it's been requested through my Instagram. So it's uh, Anthony Jesselnik. 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 Anthony Jesselnik. Uh, I came across his name before, but I've never seen any of his uh, stand-up or comedy. Mm -hmm. Has anybody else heard of him? I don't know anything. Mm -hmm. I've never no. even heard the name. Huh? Nope. Nope. Does not ring a bell. Does not ring a bell. So, nope. yeah, I mean, he's been requested. So here it is. We're uh, fulfilling this request. So it's pretty short. Not an hour long special, about 40 minutes, but it's on Comedy Central. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So it's that from, changes the yeah. game. He's probably good. Yeah. So the title of the special, it's from 2013. First of all, it's Caligula. Cali Caligula. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Caligula. Caligula. Yeah. Cal so it's Caligula. All, yeah. So it's written Caligula. down here. Caligula. <laughs> yeah. So are we ready? Ready. Yes. Yeah. All right, so yeah, so we're gonna have the AC on. It's a hot day today, so please bear with us. So if you do like our reaction, please like, comment, subscribe, so hit the notification bell. All right, let's do this. And here we go. What theater is this? Okay, I've seen him in a roast before. Oh. Oh, really? Yeah. I still I, it might have been Justin Bieber's roast. Well. No, 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 he was not. No, he was not on Justin Bieber. We watched that. He wasn't on there. I don't know after that. We, we seen a few different ways. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Thank you, guys. It's so great to be here in Chicago. Oh, I really do love this town. I actually once went on a date with a girl from Chicago. Uh, this was like 10 years ago, you know, back before I was even a comedian yet. You know, back then, I was just a regular old piece of shit like you guys. <laughs> <laughs> But I'll never forget this date. We meet up in a bar, we start drinking, we start talking, we're laughing together, we're connecting. It was great. But then we leave the bar. We go back to her place. And as soon as we walk in the front door, she passes out cold <laughs> on her couch. Now, I went to college. <laughs> I knew I had a million options. <laughs> but I'm a gentleman. So I did the smart thing. I just got a blanket, I tucked her in, and I left her a note that said, you got raped. <laughs> <laughs> All the <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I feel like it's very important, very important to open up my show with a rape joke. <laughs> Just to see what kind of crowd I'm dealing with here. Yeah. Uh, you, you guys are going to be great. <laughs> But if you were upset, or you were offended in any way, please don't worry. I've only got two more rape jokes. <laughs> and I wait about 15 minutes. But don't think I'm a bad person for making that joke. Don't think I'm a bad guy for saying that. I'm a good guy. Like, I would never hit a woman. I would never hit a woman. Even if she had a knife, or a stutter. stutter? <laughs> it's not how I do business. In fact, I might be one of the greatest guys of all time. Like, I've got a kid in Africa. Yeah. That I feed that I clothe, 
that I school, that I inoculate for 75 cents a day. <laughs> <laughs> Which is practically nothing compared to what it costs to send them there. You guys are, you guys are doing great so far. I love performing in Chicago. The only weird thing about performing in Chicago for me is that after all my shows, everybody just wants to do drugs with me. <laughs> I'd be like, Anthony, that was hilarious. I got a joint on me. Let's go smoke it. Hey, Jesselnick, amazing job, as usual. I've got mushrooms in my backpack, let's eat them. <laughs> and I've got to keep telling them the same thing I'm going to tell you guys right now. Hey, ass <laughs> I'm famous. <laughs> Give it to me. I think my friend Jeff is gay. I don't know. I'm so bad with names. <laughs> Smart crowd. When I was a kid, my friends and I got arrested for vandalizing a graveyard. $10,000 in damages. But we had a great lawyer who knocked it down to criminal trespassing and necrophilia. <laughs> I make a lot of jokes about death because it's hilarious. My whole family's like that, kind of, you know. In fact, well before I was even born, my great-grandmother threw herself in front of a bus. Police tried to say she was committing suicide, but the family knew that she was just trying to stop civil rights. Yesterday, I accidentally uh, hit a little kid with my car. <laughs> it wasn't serious. Nobody saw me. <laughs> and people get weird when kids die. <laughs> no, that's a fact. That's a fact. Like about a month ago, some kids in my neighborhood were playing hide-and-go-seek, and one of them ended up in an abandoned refrigerator. It's all anybody talked about for weeks. I said, who cares? How many kids you know get to die a winner? <laughs> I assume you guys all knew who you were coming to see tonight. <laughs> but if you didn't, you sure as know now. 